Hello our dear friends, let me hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be teaching us on how to carry out a SQL cell solubility test. This is a preliminary test, so please if you'd like to know more about it, keep around and watch this video at the end. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing, liking, and also sharing this video. In part one, we shall want to talk about the components of the SQL cell solubility kit. And in part two of the video, we shall talk about the procedure of the test. So please keep around and watch up to the end. This is the box. That's how it comes. It is sealed. So when it comes, you must ensure you first check the box to see whether it is sealed. That means all the components are inside. Another important feature that you must not forget to check is the manufacturer and the expiry date of the product. So as you can see, this product was manufactured uh, in June 2023 and it will expire in May 2025. So that means it's viable and we can still go on and use it for testing and it will give us uh, clear results. So on opening the box, you can see everything is in press. And uh, what we start with is you read this piece of information because it is very, very important. It is a small piece of that tells you uh, the principle of the test, the kit content, the reagent composition, the samples, the storage and stability, uh, the procedure, interpretation of results, uh, the, the, the limitations, the warnings, and the quality control. So you must ensure that you first of all read through uh, these notes so that you get well conversant with the test. We have reagents, uh, we have alawan, uh, two tins. This is the reagent which is uh, mixed with another reagent that we shall see uh, in order to get a solution that can be uh, important in carrying out this test. So this is ALA1 and then uh, this is uh, ALA2. So these uh, reagents are very, very important and you must handle them with care because they are the most important uh, uh, requirements of this, of this test. We have the test tubes. So these are test tubes. They are 50 in number and the, the, the importance is to receive the reagents. You put in the reagent and then you put in a drop of, that, of blood from the patient so that the test can go on and run. Those are the test tubes, 15 number. Then we also have the uh, test tube holder. Uh, after putting the reagents and the drop of blood from the client, uh, you have to put the uh, the test tube into this holder so that it does not get lost or it does not uh, break. Because within the test tube holder we have the reader. I uh, shall look uh, in part two of the video how this reader is used to interpret the results of this sickle cell test. So please keep around. Then we also have uh, the pipette. The pipette is used for drawing uh, solutions from from one tin to another or from one test tube to another like that like that then we also have the swabs the swabs are for cleaning the site where you are going to uh, prick or to take the drop of blood they are also enough for the 50 people so that you do not have any kind of shortages another thing that we have is this uh, where you fix uh, the pipettes and uh, we shall also look in part two on how you use this one to draw solutions or to draw blood uh, from the fingertip of the client to the test tube so please keep around and watch the video at the end then we have uh, the test tube tops these ones are for covering the test tubes so that uh, the solution does not power then other thing we have are the yellow tops. These yellow tops are also used uh, in drawing solutions or in drawing uh, small uh, quantities of solutions, especially a drop of blood uh, in microliters. 
uh, from the tip of the patient and into uh, the test tube. We shall look into how to use it in part two of the video. Then we also have these other uh, white uh, pipettes. Then we have uh, the lancets. These are lancets. Uh, we use them to prick the client in order to uh, bring out a drop of blood which we use uh, to carry out the test. Uh, so those are the contents of the, of the sickle cell test kit. And uh, in part two of the video, we shall look into how we can use each of them in order to carry out a sickle cell test. So please keep around and watch part two. Please ensure you subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss the next videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.